works. And uh, so I'm going to do that right now. Just getting it down close. It's hard to do with one hand. Get my tool setter pretty much in the center. You can see that indicator there in the tool. Now I'm going to go down at a slower speed until I hit. This is quicker when you're not holding the phone in one hand and a control in the other. Okay, so now the needle's starting to move, so I just go to a, on mine I can go 10 thousandths at a time, so I just march it 10 thousandths at a time, and then go to a, my 1 thousandth setting, which I'm sure with, depending on the machine, this might work a little different, but um, you get the idea. So, right down until I clock it off at the zero, and that's it. It's set. Now I just tell the machine that that's exactly three inches. And there's no doubt that it is. This is my setup for uh, calculating it, make, um, calibrating it. That's the word I'm looking for. So um, these are just test blocks. They're, they're not real expensive ones. These are import test blocks you can buy cheap. Um, the little ones are called one, two, three blocks, and the big ones a four, five, six block. I think or a two. I don't know, two, four, six, or something like that, or three, four, six. Anyway, um, so these gauge blocks are exactly three inches. So I use a precision parallel, and you push down on that, and there's my zero. And if it's not, I can set that. So that's how it's calibrated. It's all pretty simple stuff. Um, I'd used the electronic switch and I'd used uh, the aluminum plate when I had the shop bought. Um, I prefer this method 100%. It's accurate. Anytime you want to check height of anything, run it over there. It's going to be three inches above whatever you put it on. Anyway, uh, for router work, hey, this thing's good to, you know, it's going to be good to a thousandth of an inch or so, which is better than uh, most routers are ever going to get to. So, anyway, that's my take on this whole thing.